things we know. Yo, low key, I wanna, I just wanna be like, I'm mad at WNF. That's Smash Four again in top left. All right, mm -hmm. all right. I'm, I'm, call, I'm calling, I'm, call, I'm calling out the banner. And that's you it. Know, sp speaking of ease of use, I, I recently started following Razu, who's gonna be a, the next talented player we have here on the stream. Mm -hmm. And he, he sent out a tweet that uh, was like, "Oh, if you think Peach is so broken or OP, then why don't you start using?" It? And it was just like. That's fair. Well, I Pete, think that's a fair point. I, I feel like he catches, or Peach players in general catch a measure of flack because, you know, she's seen as this broken character to kind of break some of the rules of the game. And objectively, she does. But you have to work to be able to do it. It's say, not like it's an easy endeavor. This is a technical so character. So it's kind of earned. Yeah, you got it. I mean, Peach mains are like, all right, thank you, Sakurai, for this game. <laughs> but, like, people who are looking to pick them up, they realize you can't just pick it up and be like, wow, why am I not amazing with Daisy or Peach? Well, it's because they take time. Like, float canceling, like, a lot. Of, ooh, that was ooh. sick. That was amazing. Uh, lucky sevens right now in terms of damage with Clear Flex, but nothing was lucky about that opening exchange. Mm -hmm. Gonna try to rally back, gets the down throw. Gets the aerial afterwards, starting to chip away. He understands the Peach Lucky sevens are helping him out. All right, the lucky I mean, seven. hey. Luck be a lady. All right, he's like, yo, you want to put me at triple seven? Don't worry. <laughs> All right, back air brings it back in this game. However, the game get a little bit more even than obviously oh. it started off with. Oh, he's dead here. Out here, oh. winding him up. Could have been worse. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I mean, okay, Kira Flex will take that. All right, I'll, I'll take an F match when I just left myself out, open in neutral. Uh, almost, almost double the damage. One thirty-two for math heads out there. Um, let's see. All right, Daisy gonna recover. All right, I, you know, one thing that. Kira, uh, Kira Flex did last game versus uh, Solex was he was able to kind of force Daisy and Peach on the edge and not give them a chance to recover. You see what I mean here? Here Raz was mixing up his recovery and getting on for free versus where Solex was like, I'm on the ledge and I don't know how to get past Kira Flex's wall. I don't know if this is just more of like, you know, more matchup data or like, you know, more, you know, just comfortability with the character and all that. But. Nice dash attack gets the first stock. I feel like over the course of this best of three, we aren't going to see too many instances where Razo's just on the ledge Ooh. trying to figure out what to do next. I feel like with a, with a character like Peach, there, there are different tiers of players. So like there's the casual players, there are players that are good with it, but like they treat it more like a gimmick, and okay. it's more like them showing off their ability to do these different nuanced things with the character. Mm -hmm. And then there's players like Razo who understand the character and what it does to the point where every button they press has a specific purpose. So I do think if he ever does find himself in that disadvantaged position, he's going to know exactly what to do, and he's going to be a vex. So you're saying, like, you're, you, you, that, that second one, you're like, okay, somebody who's like a lab monster. You're like, oh, right. look what I could do. But exactly. then when it comes to game time, you're like, oh, my God, why didn't they do exactly what my AI right. computer did? It's like someone that... You know, for example, learns the zero to death for Luigi. And, like, they just practice that, but they don't understand mm -hmm. the whole character. So it's like, oh, yeah, I look real fancy yeah, when I'm doing this, but, but like... If you, you don't do it, you don't have any. Right, you deny me that, I don't have a plan B. Ooh, wow. Kiraflex, I, I think he got the edge or he just got the, the SD off Razo. But, you know, this Kiraflex is making this in the game. He's like, hey, man, I just want a peach last round. I know what you're looking for, Daisy. All right? Uh, I, I, maybe Kiraflex heard me. He's like, yeah, Razo's not going to know what to do in disadvantage. How about if I... <laughs> that's, dude, that's that dark pit life. He's like, so, he's, he's so how he like he thought about pit he's like wait wait i want to i actually want to kill so he picked dark pit dude right here this is what i'm talking about this is the cure of like wall okay dude he's playing it so well right now i want to see how raz is gonna oh you catch him with the jazz I, I feel like oh razo is starting to struggle against this edge guard game I, I, it seems like he's really favoring the, the forward air to return the stage mm -hmm. why not really strong option but in this instance Kira Flax is just there to interject every time. You gotta try to go for something else. Yeah, low key, uh, Kira Flax did an amazing recovery where he did a. Uh, not, not there, not recovery. <laughs> nice Made back air. But he did do. Uh, he did do shield down B to block a Nair, which was kind of awesome. But the other thing is Raz is also not getting those sweet spot fares. So I want to see, or and also he, in addition, he is parrying, oh. but he's dropping it against multi kids. However, Raz is coming back right now. Spot dodge is going to have him do the side B, follow up damage from Razo, Ooh. starting to feel some momentum here. Oh. Flex is back on the stage, or does he? Gets grabbed, Ooh. toe gets involved, 95% on Razo's last stock. Right side B at That's the right it? time. Oh, dude, one jab. He literally needed one pummel right there. That would have killed. That Gonna jump? Yeah, he knew he was gonna jump. I'm surprised he didn't up smash or a short hop anti air right there. Like, even, I mean, I called it, but it was just like. You know, like, Peach really, I mean, Daisy had no options right there. Oh, bad arrow. 
All right, next hit, next hit kill for anybody. is one of the last players you ever want to just give another chance. Oh. Side view will connect, but that far away from the blast zone. Nah. Gives Razo another shot at life. They heard you. A yeah, Ariel. Like, Ariel. Pummeling this time. Yeah, Ariel side B is not gonna. It does not have as much knockback as grounded side B. In addition, that forward throw right there, he did pummel him, which unfortunately he should have did it earlier. Would have killed. But he tried to pummel him like three quarters of the stage. Next dash deck's gonna kill him. Like Pete's dash deck, Pete's dash deck, you to watch out for. But it's just like you know, the things he did were right 20% ago. The stakes are really high right now. We're at the top 24 already in this tournament. Falling down to losers at this portion, just make sure that it's that much harder. Oh my you gosh. do not want to give games away off of these last hit exchanges. If you can avoid it, dash attack. Razo no. really daring to dream. There's a shield. There's the forward throw. Go. And that's going to sail. Game number one goes to Kira. Shocking. But not only this, Kiraflex had that game one again. When I, when I gasped, he forward tilted on shield, had it perfectly spaced. Daisy went for a shield grab. F tilt right there, that's the other difference with Dark Pit. His F tilt killed. I knew I was forgetting something. I'm like, wait a minute. And it's like, he could have F tilted on there. It didn't matter. He came back, a little bit of spaghetti from both. And then he's like, hold up. Let me get that forward throw real quick in game one. I can comfortably assume that there is a Dark Pit Discord server getting some notifications. They're like, yo, right hold up. Now. <laughs> Like, yo, we got a Dark Pit taking it to Peach, going up game one in the best of three, top 24, hey, get in here. Oh, come on, man. All three guys in Dark Pit in the Discord? No, I'm playing. Okay. Sorry, Yikes. sorry, Pit Man. Well, I guess one third of them is playing right Yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's, he's messaging them back. He's like, yo, guys, hey, uh, check this out. Look, I, uh, I'm a villager man. I don't want him to become popular. Ooh, I think he's way underrated, and I like that. And I don't want anyone to really understand why he's strong. So we're getting the Rob here. I'm not too sure why. I mean, Kiraflex really had a good second stock, the third stock. Maybe he felt like Razo was figuring him out at the end, so he's going to pull out the the, uh, the Rob. Uh, I know Kiraflex also like was playing around with Ike earlier. However, yeah. uh, I think he's mainly a Rob uh, pit dark pit. So I'd like to see how this match is going to be different. It's probably going to be more item controlled. However, Gyro's not as prominent versus uh, da somebody like Daisy or Peach because they float. But uh, it does it does help telegraph recoveries. Like if when they Gyro at ledge, the Gyro hitbox always sends it towards them so they can get a free up smash, etc., etc. Decisions like this always fascinate me. Like you go up game one in the best of three, and you decide to change characters. I always would like to ask the, the players, you know, what did you see that made you feel like you would be able to find even more success going to this different character? Yeah, it came right down to the last hit in game one, sure, but Kiraflex was moving step for step. Praza, what does Rob bring to the table? I guess larger aerial hitboxes, some easier kill confirms. Mm -hmm. You can establish some range pressure, you know, to a more severe degree than the arrow does with the gyro or the laser. I, maybe but also still. some of the weight, like he's like, you know what, like, obviously that smash probably maybe would have killed Pit Dark Pit, not 100% sure because they're midway class and Rob's at the end of midway, but uh, yeah, it could be that, maybe he just felt like, you know what, I want something like an easier kill confirm, like Rob does have double fair to side B off stage, uh, it, it, yeah, there's a, there's a plethora of options. I'm surprised he didn't up smash have a shield there, up smash has a du dual hit on it, in addition it, it does suck you in, and back air kind of, he just misses it because back air has a start up. So, I'm, like, Peach, I think Daisy, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, guys. Everyone's going to flame me later. Uh, one thing with Daisy is her errors are too quick for Rob's back air, so you have to go more for a hard read to really get it. But also, maybe he also likes having an easier kill throw off. No, no, no. Across the stage, unfortunate. Let's see what's going to happen here. Oh, he gives him stage control. Oh. What we just saw there is what I was most curious about, because I feel like Kiraflax was able to position himself to win game one because of the edge guard game that he had with the pit. And now we've seen a few instances where Razo's just been able to get on stage for free, even grabbing the gyro and throwing it back. Yeah, look. I and mean, not having that option, not having that reliable pressure option, I don't know, it could be the path to game three. Yeah, it doesn't seem like also like he's recovering as clean on ledge. Um, with Rob as he did with uh, with Pit, you know what I mean? With Dark Pit. Like, he was able to mix up his recoveries with his multiple jumps. Here, Rob's, you know, a larger character. Like, you no, know, I'm not saying, like, he's, like, heavy. I'm saying he's a large... Oh! Wow! Oh, oh. Wow! 80%! That? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not Life like Rob's... at you fast! Oof, he just has not taken damage. Oh, my gosh, dude. That was sick. No, no, no! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Daisy's even like, he's like, 
Yo, Rob's just like, yo, uh, you know what? Uh, I went to the lab against Rob and uh, watch this triple that float cancel there into side special, the Peach Bomber, the da the Daisy Nuker. Okay, I, I don't know. Like, that oh my god, dude. That is a notable I, yike. Look, I'm, I'm going home. Signs. I'm going home, and I know that's not Reddit. And if it's not on Reddit, then everyone failed right now because that was absolutely sick. What always astounds me when you see plays like that happen in the wild in a tournament, look how blank Razo's face is right now. Like, you do that to another human being on stream, and you're just like, my bands are. <laughs> like, he knows what he this is. This is that casual. He knows it's crazy. Uh, we're going to Battlefield here, so no more FD. You know everyone wanted it. Not me and mine. Nobody wanted it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I want to see, you know, make, will, will the Rob thing kind of mix him up? Is Razo really is he hot now because of what he just did? You know what I mean? Like, I want to see, like, what the adaption of Q-Reflex is going to do. Because Q-Reflex, my favorite thing about him so far, calling these two sets like, with him, is he plays his game. He, he's never out. Like, he is never out. He's down three stacks though, and he'll come back. But I want to see how he's going to change, and I want to see if Razo's going to be still be hot after uh, making some uh, Twitch clips right over there. I, I rarely ever see Razo play cold, so I think he's going to manage to keep the momentum going. Kira Flax definitely has to pick the pieces back up. Gets the down aerial, starts to do that. Nice. Uh, he's he's percentages well. at the moment. Keeping the pressure on. This is what Kira Flax needs to do if he wants to stay in winners. Mm -hmm. He's anti iron so well right now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, even though the percents are, you know, generally even, uh, Kira Flax is getting the hits where he's pressuring uh, Razo enough that he can't rush him down like he did with Rob. And it's just, you see, like, oh, you see, like, Razo's, like, He's still going in, playing aggressive. However, it's just at a point where, oh, no, bad part the back air. But he's at a point where it's like, you know what? Like, uh, Cure Flex will punish me if I do something like this versus when I was playing, when he was playing Rob and he didn't have any options inside there. Dude, no fair. Oh, he uh, killed himself uh, too. He killed himself. Eh? The up B is favorable. It can get you back on stage in a lot of instances. And no, no. Oh, okay. If Razo successfully baited him into that okie doke, you know, he just he had the I, read. I would have needed a moment. Personally. Yeah, he had the read for fair, and he just didn't take it. I think he was trying to go for. A, he was trying to play 4D chess when he already had the 3D chess move. Nice dash attack. Gonna take it. Still generally even game. It's just your flex should be up and be like, you know what? Like you come to me right now. However, I don't think it's gonna break his mental. I think he'll be fine. Um, well, let's uh, let's see what's gonna go down. I don't want to ever see K Reflex going to that stage after Razor. <laughs> it's just, it's just too spooky. Like, yeah, you're dark fit, but uh, luring you down here for a reason. You, you ain't pre-patch K rule who's coming down from the depths of hell. It's like I'll, I'll be, I'm fine, I'm fine. I, I feel like Razor's the type of player to improvise, but only off the basis of really understanding the situation. I can't imagine he did that just for giggles. Wouldn't do it again. 84% right now. Do you see how uh, Kira Flex is recovering better in this game? You know what I mean? Like, it's just because he has the option of jumps. Nice dare to Nair, the old bread and butter. Nice. We captured him on Nair. No edge guard from here. Uh, Razo, you know, the, I, the one thing I like, Razo's not just throwing out attacks. It looks like he is, but they're all, like, they're all calculated. You know what I mean? It's like, it, he's not being like, oh, I'm just going to throw this out. It's going to be, you know, hopefully he lands into it. Like, he, he knows his space and his character, so... I, you know, like, I, I I just feel like it's a little bit lost because it looks like he's just throwing out attacks all the time. To me, it always feels like Razo is the player that, like, he doesn't guess. He just chances the odds. Mm -hmm. He's like, I know what my options are, and in this moment, this is what could grant me the most success. Yeah. But it's not like, I'm going to throw this out and see what happens. Like, every button has a purpose. Kira Flax trying to put the pressure on. Nice tech. Nice tech there. Keeps the second stock alive. Ooh. Comes back for the back air. Oh, sweet spot back air. I'm surprised not killing. I mean, he, maybe because he got sent to the top right. A little late on that fair, but oof, that was a, that was a good exchange right there from everybody. Yeah, dash attack and get him. Honest. Sets up the dash attack. Those arrows keep him so honest. Like, it's just like, you, you want to you short health float? No, no, no. All right, well, even game again. Let's see what's going to happen here. Uh, unfortunate. Gets hit. Right through his nair from that turnip, uh, it gave him a solid 20%. So, ooh, gets him for another turnip, a little start or something. No, he lands on platform, just a little like, like two, three percent. He can still down throw dare into nair right here, so he should be fine. Razo again finding himself the oh. recipient of these arrows to the point where he feels inspired to bring out the toad, which nice. could have definitely come back to bite him. 
if the punishment setup was just a little different. Down throw, nice. neutral air, follow up, Kira Flax, getting back into this edge guard there. game. This is why he's good on this character in this matchup. Oh, no, I thought he was going to go for a rapid forward, job. Yeah. Oh, a forward smash, yes. But I thought he was going to go for rapid jabs for a little bit more percent. Ooh, not, not yet, not yet, though. But this edge guard could be it. arrow, Razo on the ropes. Ooh, he's, he, dude, this edge guard could be it. Okay, he's not going to risk it. He doesn't want to go too deep, unlike last time. However, forward throw might not kill here. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, that's oh, it. Yeah. My back that's that's it. Kira Flex with the... Kira Flex shows up big with the arguable oh, upset. Seems like down to losers with the dark hit. This is it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, this is the first round of the top 24. Also, last week's WNF, you know, Kira Flex, like, you know what, man? Uh, I've, I've been doing some laughing. Got it. All right, guys. So we're going to go on a little bit break. This is my last one. Thank you guys for having me. Uh, Halloween? Good having you, my good man. All right, guys. Uh, this, like I said, this is my end. You guys can follow me at Troy Full Buster. Don't forget to follow. Help out your boy. Want to see more casting. You're going to have Howard, and you're going to have Korean or Z-Fly coming up. It's going to be some dope. It's the top 24. Enjoy.